Alrighty, end of this video, we're gonna be seeing Cartoon Hoppy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the Smiling Critters RP. And yes, as you can see, we are here with the crew. We got Knot, Dratini, Quackers, Hugo, Galaxy, and this kind of strange person at the end here. But today we've got something super exciting because a little bit later on, we've got Unsurprizo joining us in the video to showcase Hoppy in his kind of work in progress kind of state. Until then, I thought as we went through with these new updates and checked them out last time, I was a bit of a loner at that point. But where we've got everyone else here, I want to show them the cool little secrets that we saw last time. And if you didn't see the last video, this might be new to you as well. So it's probably worth watching and seeing what we get. Now, the first place I'm going to start is at this beautiful building known as the shop. If you remember from the previous videos, this used to be a really small building that literally just said opening soon and like it never did open. Nope, it was almost like it was lying to us, but they've come out and did a curveball and literally, well, <laughs> they turned into this massive building, which I believe was in the shape of the orphanage. And I think that's kind of where they got the inspiration of the design of the building. And I can see that they have a quackers on the top of the building. So what I want to do is to show you that there is actually an interior, which is a really cool thing to see. So if I head through here, what you're going to notice is they knew I was going to do it and check it out. Uh, basically, they put Rick Astley in front of me and effectively, they trolled me. They trolled me good. And so I'm bringing everyone else here just so they can see Obviously, what we can see as well, and I don't know what's going on, but this is going crazy. What is going on with my screen? One thing we didn't see last time is there is actually an upstairs part. It's very small, but it is just this little part here. When the shop is actually finally open, this button down here, which we can see is the shop, is actually going to disappear. And the only way to get to it is to run through the front of the shop. And I can see Quackers is after some nuggies. Well, actually, this is very convenient because Quackers, I can take you somewhere to get some nuggies. That is right, guys, if you want to follow me, I know it's dark at the moment, but hopefully it will become daytime again soon because if you have not checked this place out, which I'm sure most of you have, although there are some spaces and places that we can get to that you guys can't because of our kind of little uh, trick to be able to fly. But what you'll see here in the dark at this point in time is the Smiling Cafe. And if you head up into the entrance, I can see Quack is this really excited and running off. What you can do is pick up a coffee cup literally at the front, which I didn't do in the last video. And if you have a look, I don't know if they have different designs or not, but I have got Biggie Biggie currently on my cup at the moment, and I think everyone's got the same. Yes, we've all got Biggie Biggie. I'll tell you what, it would be pretty cool if we had the rest of the Smiling Critters on there, because I think it'd be nice to be able to add, like, choose which one you want, because I would pick up Catnap or maybe Dog Day out of the two. And Quackers is saying that his tastes like pork. So I cannot say he feels like there's going to be other themed items, and honestly, I can completely agree with you. Now, I did see someone said something. Oh, of course. It's Galaxy. Yeah. He says his tastes like pee. Of course it does. Only you would have the mug with pee in it. Clearly, you can sit and do a bit of fine dining if you want to have a little bit of a rest from the rest of the game. But what is pretty cool is if we head upstairs, last time I mentioned that with this being replaced, there used to be the three slides. And it could really do, in my opinion, with a slide kind of put back again, from up here, which works your way down maybe to the water as a really quick way to get out of the Smiling Cafe. Last time when I was here, I missed something quite goofy. What you can see is this up here, right? This kind of awning cover. If I go and land on it, uh, yeah, check out what happens. It's something a little bit odd. And I don't know why it does it, but if I land on it, what is this about? Why, why does this happen? What is going on? It's like constantly trying to respawn or shrink or resize. I, I just don't have an answer. It's funny. That's why I say it's quite funny. But obviously, last time we didn't check out the roof. I wanted to get an idea of what the whole building's like. So this over here is the chimney. You can see the smoke is coming out uh, quite a bit above the chimney. But at least when you're down on the floor, it looks like the real thing. But there's not much else up here to do with secrets as such because it's quite possible that they weren't expecting anyone to actually come up here. So while I jump down and... Wait, how does it... Are people managing to trigger this? Wait, I can see Quackers and Cannot are just jumping like crazy to... <laughs> make them both go absolutely bizarre. Look at this. 
Okay, well, that's with the Smiling Cafe. If you haven't checked this out, I would definitely recommend it. If you have not done so already, there is a new way to unlock Dog Day. If you've already got Dog Day, you don't have to do this. But if you're new to the game and you haven't done so already, well, it's quite simple. All you need to do is to go to the back of the house, pick up the shovel just here, and then very quickly teleport to the mountain. So this, normally you would go over here, but you need to go up this way. So I can see Quackers was almost heading to the old location, but literally this one here where you've got some dirt. If you get someone to dig it up and you will see Quackers saying, dig up grandma? Ah, this is not where she is, Quackers. But as you can see, you fall down and there are some bones which you can pick one up. I just realized that the bone looks like a bit of a plushie. It's a bit like Catnap's fish. It's like a toy, which is really, really, really adorable. But at this point, head back to the house, go through the door, and then head into the kitchen where you place this on the bowl like so. And this will unlock Dog Day for you. And as of recent, we've got ourselves the new version of Dog Day, which has all of these different kind of, I suppose, animations and stuff. So with this being said, if you haven't checked it out, you have the ability very much like Catnap to lay down on the floor. You can sit like so and obviously pull many different faces, which is actually so cool because I can't believe how expressionate they are. Guys, he's saying, good doggy, sit. And now he's yelling at me. And you know what? Wouldn't it be a shame if he fell into a hole? Just like that. <laughs> the doggy wins. He's now much happier, I think. I'm not actually too sure what's happening. <laughs> Quack is saying, go on the morph menu and click on Catnap's head. Yes, he's got a very valid point. If you have not noticed, this is a new UI for the morph menu. And at the top, you've got Catnap and Dog Day. And they both do something. So Catnap... ...does lots of different meows. And Dog Day's makes some kind of melody, which I don't know if you know what this melody is meant to be. Because I have no idea, and it's going to bug me until I realize what it is. It's probably nothing. Although, Quackers is just saying it's the Windows error effect. But the biggest highlight of this update, obviously, while we're waiting for Hoppy, if you have not noticed, and I don't know how you haven't, because the tree is literally dancing. We have a dancing tree right here, and it's only one of them as well, because it's right next to the purple orb. Now, I'm curious to see if I can make myself hover above it, and then I maybe bring someone like, uh, I don't know, maybe Quackus? Does he want to come up here? I'm sure he does. Boop. What happens to... Oh, where'd he go? I don't want to get up there, but you do, Quackers. Although Galaxy's saying he does, so if I bring up Galaxy, in theory, when you touch the orb, you get oofed. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correct. But if I head down to it, uh, yeah, if you go into it, it doesn't actually teleport you anywhere, at least yet. It is meant to grow as we get nearer the update. Keep an eye on this if you play the game because it's meant to grow bigger and bigger while we get closer and closer to the update. And honestly, I am super excited for this update because not only do I want to check out the space, the school, cartoon Hoppy, and obviously Marvis as well. There's so much stuff coming out in this update because it's so huge. The crack is saying that the panel in the mountain has got weirder. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, so I want to just follow Quackers. Uh, this might be part of the update. It might not. But I am running after Quackers to see what panel he's actually on about for one and two. How's it got weirder? I mean, the message from Marvis himself, we have already kind of translated. So it's like something is breaking the world. So actually, Quackers has a very, very good point. He's uh, got a very, he's very astute. And basically, look at the floor. This kind of like, I don't know what it is, like molten lavery rock thing has grown away from the asteroid. And he's noticed the radio things have kind of broken out as well. So last time we had a look at this, we did find two literally around this rock. But at the moment, I can only see one. So I mean, can I say look from the sky? Oh, yeah, that's a really good point. So you got like a bird's eye view and you can see just how much this is spreading. So maybe this is spreading as well 
as the purple orb growing. Although, can I say it looks like a paw print? Oh, you know, he's got it. It's the main palm. You've got the fingers here. And that's maybe the, the top end of the finger. And it hasn't quite spread out for these ones yet. Well, we know what the hand looks like for this one. Because it's kind of like a frog-like character. Or creature. Might be a better way of putting it. I mean, I'll show you what it is on the screen now. Because we've had the hint of the drawing. And if you look at the hand, it can... And does look kind of similar. Guys, let me know your suggestions or your theories of what's going to happen as we get to the update in the comments below. But wait, hang on. I can see Unsurprise has joined our server. And this means one thing and one thing only, which is he's very likely become Cartoon Hoppy, which means like Quackers and Hugo getting super excited. We need to go find him and see what this character looks like and uh, see what we're going to unlock. Because at this point... Well, I don't even know where he is. Although I have a strange suspicion I do. And the only way to get there is to fly. So if I make myself fly and head up into the sky, I will bring you guys with me in a second. Don't worry. I will bring you there. So obviously, this is the main map. And out of the boundaries, you've got this special area that was used for one trailer. And yes, I can see in the distance, it looks like a hoppy figure. This is amazing. Look at this. So now I've landed and come flying in. This is the work in progress at the moment of Cartoon Hobby. And yes, we can't unlock it yet, which is a, a little bit of a downside. But look at it. It's actually in the game. It's pretty cool. And I need to bring everyone else with me. So if I do bring like so, you will see that now everyone is here with Unsurprizo as Cartoon Hoppy. Now, what would be actually uh, absolutely epic at this point is if I was to become the new version of Catnap and one of these guys becomes Dog Day and if I can get everyone else to kind of take a step back away from the picnic area, please, so we can get a really good look with these three characters. So if I can get Quackers is looking good there and check this out. So not only... Have we got the ability to sit and make it look like we're having, like, the bestest picnic ever? Well, we've got it with Cartoon Hoppy. And I love the fact at this point, especially this. Look at that. That could be picture-worthy. 100% that could be... Oh, my goodness. Has he just done an emote? Is he now chilling out as well? Oh, I've got to pull a face. This is crazy. Look at this. I am feeling really silly. I cannot believe this. Look at this. So, we've got a silly cat nap, a silly dog day, and an absolutely chilled out hoppy which is awesome to have and as you can see it is in the game but we can't unlock it yet which is such a shame it really is but i just have to say thank you to unsurprizo for actually joining the game and show uh, well showing us hoppy hopscotch or the cartoon hoppy at the moment because they could have said no and left us alone but look at this we've got an absolutely amazing first view of this on a video at least and i'm so stoked this is so cool i'm really looking forward to the next update but honestly guys if you enjoyed the video remember to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done so many it's super appreciated and we will catch you in the next video remember to boot the snoot